welcome viewers myself professor rajeshri s masreddy department of pharmacy kelly college of pharmacy belgavi in today's session will address on permeation and answer uh, by the end of this uh, session uh, the viewers will be able to know the role of permeation enhancers as excipients in formulation classify permeation enhancers understand their mechanism of action and quote examples for each class of permeation enhancers uh we all know about dosage forms and about the uh, absorption criteria the rate limiting steps for drug absorption are solubility and permeability in today's session we will be focusing about permeability permeation enhancers are the excipients or we say as promoters for absorption of drug through the skin by transiently enhancing the skin permeability permeation enhancers are useful in the formulation of impermeable drugs that that belong to bcs class 3 and 4 4 and drugs which are uh, ionizable and we need to maintain their uh, drug level in the uh, systemic circulation for the uh, therapeutic response they also aid to deliver high molecular weight drugs effectively like hormones and peptides they reduce the lag time of transdermal drug delivery systems so these uh, permeation enhancers are used in uh, Uh, oral drug delivery and uh, more significantly in case of transdermal drug delivery systems the pathways of transdermal permeation are uh, the drugs permeate uh, through the skin uh, through the stratum corneum through the skin barriers or, or via the cavities which are associated with hair roots sebaceous gland small muscles and sweat glands uh various approaches for permeation enhancers include chemical approach biochemical approach and physical approach today we will emphasize on the chemical approach which involves the permeation enhancers for improving the permeability and thereby availability of the drug in the systemic circulation the mechanisms of permeation enhancers through chemical approach are according to the lipid protein partition theory chemical enhancers act through following three mechanisms they cause the disruptions in the well organized structure of lipids in the stratum corneum they interact with keratin and other proteins which are present intracellularly they improve the drug partitioning through the stratum corneum with help of co enhancers or the co solvents the permeation enhancers act by uh, manipulating either of the three pathways by bringing about a conformational change in the skin proteins or by swelling of the solvent the factors which affect rate of drug permeation through the stratum corneum for steady state fluxes uh, given in the equation where uh, C not is the constant or concentration in the donor solution. K is the partition coefficient of the solute present between the membrane and bathing solution. D is the diffusion coefficient. H the membrane thickness, and dm by dt is the mass is the mass rate of dissolution. So here, in case the mainly it is the diffusion coefficient and the partition coefficient, which will be emphasized uh, through the permeation we discuss each class of uh, permeation enhancers uh, alcohols uh, are one of the important uh, categories where they increase the skin permeation by lipids and protein extraction stratum corneum swelling and thus improving partitioning of drug into host uh, skin thereby increasing drug solubility in the formulation examples are polyols 
propene glycol, short chain glycerides like glycerol monocaprylate. Amines and amides as permeation enhancers promote drug permeation transdermally by promoting hydration of the stratum corneum, formation of diffusion channels with water attraction property for drug. Example, cyclic urea, dimethyl acetamide and dimethyl formamide. Cyclodextrins are reportedly biocompatible permeation enhancers. In order to increase solubility, especially in aqueous solutions, they get complexed with lipophilic drugs. Examples are cyclodextrin, orthocarboxymethyl O-ethyl B-cyclodextrin, methyl beta-cyclodextrins. Fatty acids and ester derivatives are used as absorption enhancers. Unsaturated fatty acids are better enhancers than saturated ones. By means of increasing the lipophilicity, partition coefficient of drug can be increased. Example is palmitoic acid is an important permeation enhancer which is used widely. Pyrolidons along with their derivatives are known to have excellent potential as transcutaneous absorption enhancer. Example is N-methyl pyrolidon. Ozones are an important class of chemical permeation enhancers which promotes intracellular transport of the drugs. The combination of ozones and propylene glycol show a great combination of chemical enhancers. Example is n dodicyl 2 pyperidone Sulfoxides are a category of permeation enhancers which promote the permeation of drugs by intracellular hydrogen bonding rather than forming hydrogen bonds with water. Example, dimethyl sulfoxide, dicylmethyl sulfoxide. Dimethyl sulfoxide is considered as a universal solvent because it can solubilize wide range of drugs. Surface active agents. These are the agents which are absorbed at the interfaces which leads to increase the permeation. Surface active agents are categorized as cationic surfactants which have a positive charge on their hydrophilic end even though they provide higher permeation action than the anionic surfactants they cannot be used as permeation enhancers due to their higher charge they readily fall out of the solution and cause damage to the skin. Example is benzalkonium, benzithonium, methyl benzithonium and cetyl piperidinum. Anionic surfactants are the negatively charged components which remove the water soluble agents which causes change in the barrier function of stratum corneum. Example, ammonium laurel sulfate, ammonium uh, laurel sarsosinate, sodium myric sulfate. Non-ionic surfactants are perforated so that they can emulsify the sebum. Thus, the permeation is increased due to change in the partitioning potential. Example, alkyl and nonyl phenol ethoxylates, castor oil ethoxylate. Terpenes and terpenoids are essential ingredients of essential oils. It is formed by repeating, uh, repeating of the isoprene units in the molecule. They mainly act as percutaneous permeation enhancers. They are the natural permeation enhancers which act by increasing diffusion coefficient, partition coefficient. Solubility of drug terpenes are widely used as natural permeation enhancers because of their molecular orientation with the lipid bilayer. Example, limonene, methane pinene, terpinene, neem oil, basil oil, etc. The other approaches to enhance permeation are synthesis of bioconvertible prodrugs. Prodrugs help to obtain an optimal partition coefficient for entering the skin barrier. Example, N-acyl derivatives were formed to increase permeability of 5-fluorouracil 
to 25 times co-administration of skin metabolic inhibitors another approach is the physical approach where external sources are employed uh, iontoporosis the mechanism of iontoporosis involves diffusion or migration or electroosmosis of drug through the skin across a concentration gradient sonoforesis will enhance the permeability of drug through its cavitation thermal effects and through connect connective transport application of thermal energy such as ultrasonic waves on skin leads to increase in temperature thus there is an increase in skin permeability which leads to drug to enter the systemic circulation other optional approaches are stripping of stratum corneum and hydration of stratum corneum these are the references for permeation enhancers thank you